Good day researchers, good day grade 8 students, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is me again, Teacher Tin May, and here comes another lesson vlog. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 8. to congratulate all of you grade 8 students for finishing and accomplishing this quarter 1 in Science 8 because for today's lesson, this is the last topic that we have for quarter 1 which is the different functions of uh, safety devices that we use at home. And this is also a continuation of our topic about the series and parallel connection. At the end of this lesson vlog, you will be able to explain the functions of the different safety devices that we use at home, such as circuit breaker, fuses, earthing, and many more. Ano ba kapag sinabi nating safety devices? Safety devices. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay tumutukoy sa mga device, instrument, or kung ano man na maaari nating gamitin para maiwasan natin ang anumang sakuna. Well, Napakarami nga sa mga safety devices na ginagamit natin sa bahay, sa school, or sa mga offices. When we say safety device, a safety device is a piece of equipment that can be used such as fire extinguisher, burglar alarm, or a safety belt that reduces the loss or damage of fire, accident, or break-in. When it comes to electricity, we have two types of hazard. Number one is we have the thermal hazard, and the other one is what we call shock hazard. Ano bang pagkakaiba ng thermal hazard at ng shock hazard? So pag sinabi natin thermal hazard, kalimitan ng gayari ito kapag nagkakaroon ng electrical overheating. Pero pag sinabi naman natin shock hazard, commonly it occurs when an electric current passes through a person. And we have different kinds of safety devices that will prevent these kinds of hazard. Ano-ano po ba yung mga safety devices na ginagamit natin? Okay, number one, we have the circuit breaker. Number two, we have fuses. Number three, we have earthing. Number four, we have double insulation. And number five, we also have the residual current devices. So, ano-ano po ba yung limang ito? Halikayo at i-discuss natin what are the safety devices that we use. Number one, we have the circuit breaker. Para saan ang mga circuit breaker? From the word itself, circuit breaker. Sila yung taga-break ng circuit. Oo, totoo. Paano? Kasi nade-detect nila kung nag-exceed na sa maximum level ng current yung nangyari dito. So, ang tendency niyan, meron silang tinatawag na electromagnet. So, itong circuit breaker, meron siyang electromagnet na siya yung nag nagbe-break ng circuit kapag na-reach na niya yung kanyang maximum level. Bakit kailangan na niyang i-break yung circuit? Kasi kapag nag-exceed na yan sa maximum level na yan, napaka-dangerous na yan, at saka ito ay hindi na safe para sa mga gumagamit. Circuit breaker, it functions to break the circuit when the current in the circuit exceeds the maximum value and is no longer considered safe. To do this, there is an electromagnet that will physically break the circuit when it detects the current has exceeded its maximum. Number 2, Fuses. Fuses are like circuit breakers in that they will break a circuit when it detects that it is too dangerous to operate. Fuses use a resistance wire with a low melting point instead of an electromagnet. And when the current is too great, the wire melts and the circuit will be broken. As the fuse melts every time the current is too great, it must be replaced unlike the circuit breaker which can be reset after it breaks the circuit. Ito naman sa fuse, medyo parang katulad lang din naman siya no circuit breaker which is binibreak din nila yung circuit kapag na-detect nitong fuse na masyado ng dangerous para mag-operate itong circuit. So kaibahan nga lang, 
Kung sa circuit breaker, gumagamit sila ng electromagnet para i-break yung circuit kapag na, na lampasan na nito yung maximum level. Dito naman sa fuse, gumagamit sila ng mga resistance na may mabababang melting point. Itong fuse, nagme-melt ito sa tuwing tumataas yung electric current at hindi na nito kaya. Ang kaibahan lang nito sa circuit breaker is inire-reset lang yon. Pero dito sa fuse, kinakailangan na palitan na siya kapag nag-meltdown na itong fuse after reaching the maximum level of current. Number three is the earthing. There are three wires that supply the power to households. These are the active, neutral, and earth wires. Earth wires are put in so that electric shocks can be avoided when people come into contact with an active wire that is in contact with the casing of any connected appliances. If there was no earth wire, a person would complete the circuit between the appliances and the ground and would receive an electric shock. To reduce the chance of this happening, the earth wire provides a better conductive path for the current. If the current comes into contact with the casing of any appliance, the earth wire will create a conductive path from the appliance to the earth and a large current will flow to the earth through this connection. This large current is also blow any fuses or trip any circuit breakers so that the circuit is not complete and any person touching the appliance will not receive an electric shock. Next is double insulation. Insulation is installed so that wiring and electric appliances are covered so that the current will only go through its intended path. The insulation is made out of an extremely poor conductor in order to create a safe path for the current to flow through. To increase the safety from insulation, a second layer of insulation can be installed so that if one of the layers fails to properly insulate the circuit, the second layer will still be able to protect it. And last, we also have the residual current devices. RCDs are designed so that they can stop a current before it becomes harmful to a person. It does this by detecting any leakages from the circuit through a differential current transformer that will compare the current flowing through the live and neutral conductor and if there is a difference it quickly shuts down the current it typically shuts it down in 25 to 40 milliseconds after a leakage conductor to minimize the damage done to the body this is the end of our lesson vlog about the different safety devices at home i hope you learned something from this lesson vlog and congratulations again because you accomplished the Last topic of Science 8, Quarter 1. See you on my next vlog. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 8. Bye!